Hi, I'm Dr. Green. Welcome to your cranial nerve exam. I would like to tell you a little bit about the exam that we're doing today, um, how it works, what we're looking for. If you wouldn't mind taking a look at this image real quick for me. All right. Now, we have a whole complex network of nerves running throughout our body, and it's their job to carry information and instructions between our brain and all the other parts of our body. We have different types of nerves. We have motor nerves, and motor nerves carry instructions from the brain to elsewhere in the body, okay? So, for example, if you are uh, walking through a store and you see a really soft, fuzzy looking blanket and you decide you want to touch the blanket, okay? The whole process of extending your arm and hand and using your fingers to stroke the blanket that's your motor nerves at work, your brain instructing your muscles how to move, okay? Then we also have sensory nerves, and they carry sensory information up to the brain. So if you touch that really fuzzy blanket and you think, oh, that is so soft, that's your sensory nerves at work, carrying information from your hand up to your brain. Okay? Now, we also have some mixed nerves in our body, nerves that do a little bit of both, motor and sensory. And as I'm sure you can imagine, there's a lot more complexity and subtlety to how everything works, but overall those are the basics. Now, we have lots of nerves in our body, but the cranial nerves, specifically, they're a set of 12 pairs of nerves that originate up in the brain and the brainstem. They're responsible for a whole bunch of specialized functions, so your smell, vision, hearing, um, the movement of your eyes and your facial muscles, your sense of balance, that's your cranial nerves. And it's this particular set of nerves that we will be testing today. All right? So, by name, we've got your olfactory nerves. We've got your optic, oculomotor, uh, trochlear, trigeminal, abdescens, facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, your vagus nerve, that's my personal favorite accessory nerve, and the hypoglossal. Don't worry, I'm not going to quiz you on that, and that's not the exact order we're going to go in. Um, I am going to walk you through a whole series of little tests and examinations and instructions. I'll be giving you lots of instructions, but please don't worry if any of them feel a little tricky. It's totally normal for some of them to be easier than others. All we're doing is observing your responses, and we're just going to compare them to your known medical history to see if there are any changes or anything we want to check out further. All right? Many of them will require that I do some touching and palpating, a little physical interaction. I hope that's okay. It's overall going to be a pretty pleasant and easy process, and I will walk you through every step of the way. Okay? All right. Are you ready? Great. Just one moment while I put this away and get my gloves on.
Okay, so, so I have these four vials of scented liquid. They're each scented pretty strongly. Each one is different. What I'm going to be doing is, one at a time, I'm going to hold them underneath your nose, open. I'm going to ask you to take a nice, deep breath in through your nose, and let me know what it smells like. I am going to tell you ahead of time what each of them is. It's not a test to try and trick you or anything. So I'll let you know what it is. I'll hold it under your nose. You'll take that nice, deep breath. And then you'll let me know whether just, yes, it smells like what it's supposed to, or um, if it smells like something different, please let me know. If you can smell it, but it seems faint, like not that strong of a smell, that's something I want to know as well. All right? Great. Okay, so I do have to shake each of them up to kind of make sure the scent is evenly dispersed. begin with, can you take a nice cleansing breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Beautiful. Okay. So this one is vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and hold it underneath your nose here. Nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And what do you think? Did that smell? pretty clearly like vanilla to you. Okay. I'm going to set that aside and take a quick note here. Okay. Next one. Get another cleansing breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. All right. This one is coffee scented. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it under your nose. Please take a nice deep breath in and out through your mouth. Did that smell like? Coffee. Okay. Great. I'm gonna set that aside. Got two more. This one is mint scented. Okay, so I'm going to place that under your nose. Nice deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. What do you think? Does that smell like mint? Okay. Last one, and then we can move on to the next one, or well, the next test, okay? So, nice cleansing breath again, through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, yeah, we want to clear it out a little bit. Okay, now this one smells like opportunity, okay? So I'm going to hold that underneath your nose. Can you take a nice, deep inhale through your nose? And out. Great. Okay. Could you smell opportunity? That's what I thought. 
You're a real go-getter, aren't you? Okay, so go ahead and put that aside. move on to testing your accessory nerve. I'm just going to be testing some stuff in your shoulder girdle muscles, okay? To begin with, I'm going to be placing my hands on your shoulders. At first, I'll just be resting them there. I'm going to ask you to lift your shoulders and relax them a couple times, okay? Then we're going to do it again with me placing a little more pressure, okay? So, all right with you. I'm gonna go ahead and place my hands on your shoulders now. Okay, just resting my hands on your shoulders. You can go ahead and lift them up, up, up. Great. Okay, drop them, let them relax. Good. Up again, lift your shoulders up. Beautiful. And let them relax. Perfect. Okay, now in a moment I'm gonna start giving some gentle pressure pushing down, not super hard, it should, shouldn't hurt. I'm just gonna press down, and I want you to press against my hands, lifting up, okay? So I'm pressing on your shoulders, pressing, pressing, go ahead and lift your shoulders up, 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 and drop them, good. That was perfect. Go ahead and place my hands on either side of your face, if that's alright. Okay, so place my hands right here. Can you go ahead and turn your head all the way to your left? Good. And all the way to the right. Good. Okay, that was beautiful. Look at that, we've already gotten through two cranial nerves. Can you guess which one we're moving on to next? Well, if you guessed hypoglossal nerve, you're correct. So, for the hypoglossal nerve, um, we're basically just looking at some tongue movements. So if you could relax your jaw, stick out your tongue, just, uh, okay, and if you can keep it out for a moment, I'm just going to examine it for any signs of atrophy or asymmetry, but it's looking pretty good. It's like a nice healthy tongue. Okay, you can put it back in your mouth. Take a quick note. Some bilateral. Can you stick your tongue out for me one more time? Good. Now move it to one side. Move it to the other side. Beautiful. Okay. You can put your tongue back in your mouth. I mean, you don't have to, but most people are more comfortable that way. Okay. Moving on to the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves. So, um, just a quick question. Do you have any concerns about your sense of taste? Has that been an issue for you at all recently? Okay. And is that something you've ever had an issue with in the past? ask you to stick your tongue out for me again. Let me turn my pen light on here. Okay, stick your tongue out and say, ah, nice big ah. I'm just gonna look in here. One more time, nice big ah. Good. Beautiful. Okay, put your tongue back in your mouth if you would like. Okay. Can you repeat? After me, please. I'm gonna try and get a couple different sounds out of you. Can you say ka, ka, ka? Say it a few times, please. Ka, ka, ka. Okay, 
the works. And now, can you say, go, go, go? Just say it a few times for me. Go. All right. Beautiful. Just a moment. Moving on to your facial nerve, that's cranial nerve number seven, in case you're taking notes. So these are the nerves that um, innervate your facial muscles. So to begin with, I'm just going to be observing your face for a moment, uh, looking for facial asymmetry, involuntary movements, visible muscle weakness, tremors, things like that. You can just look straight ahead, kind of try to line your nose up with mine. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look. Okay, and of course, no one's face is perfectly symmetrical. I'm just looking for anything unusual that wouldn't be explained by your known medical history. You've got a great face. Everything is looking really nice. Okay. So. Go ahead and I'm just going to give you a few instructions now, okay? Some facial exercises. Can you raise your eyebrows up as high as you can, please? Okay, thank you. And you can relax them. Can you go ahead and frown for me? Just give a big, dramatic frown. Okay, beautiful. Happy with that. And this one's going to involve me touching you again in a moment, okay? But not yet. First, I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes gently. Go ahead and close them gently. Good. And now squeeze them shut. Good. Open them again. All right. So just so you're prepared, because I'm going to be touching you with your eyes closed. I don't want to make you jump. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes again. And I'm going to place my fingertips just on your upper and lower lids here, okay? I'm going to ask you to squeeze your lids shut once again, okay? I'm going to gently try and open your eyes again. It won't be hard. It's not going to be painful or anything. Just very gently going to try and encourage them open, and I want you to fight me, okay? Keep your eyes squeezed shut against them, okay? Great. Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes. Squeeze your eyelid shut. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna start trying to pull them apart. Gonna try to open, 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 but keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. And relax. Beautiful. Okay. Can you show me your upper teeth, please? Just lift your lap. Good. Lower teeth, just Okay, good. Can you give me your biggest, brightest, most foolish, dramatic smile that you can? Great big smile. Okay, gorgeous. Go ahead and relax your face. Okay. And finally, can you please go ahead and puff out both cheeks for me to... Like that? Okay. Hold it. Great, you can go ahead and relax. Just gonna take a few notes and then we'll move on to the next thing. Good. Okay. Just 
just a moment. All right. I assume you've seen one of these before. This is called a Snowen chart, and it's for testing your visual acuity, mostly, which is just how well you can see from a distance. So I'm going to be holding this up. I'm going to ask you to tell me what some of the different letters are, even if they're difficult for you to see, or even if they're just blobs. If you could do me a favor and give me your best guess, um, that's all I need if you're not sure, okay? So we are going to, oh, and this down here just uh, tests your red desaturation. Is it clear to you that this one down here is red? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, this one tests your ability to see interdimensionally, but that's not part of this test, so don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to hold this right about here, okay? If you could go ahead and just tell me... What's that one, please? Okay, great. And this one, can you read this line? This one, not... Okay, good. If you go down to this line here... Three, four. What are those letters? Beautiful. Okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to ask you to cover up one eye. Doesn't matter which one we start with. Just go ahead and fully cover up one eye. I'm going to try again. Okay. So, starting again at the top here. What's that, please? Good. Next line down. Good. And the next line down, can you actually read this one backwards, starting here? So one, two, three, what are those? Beautiful. And this one down here, what are those? Good. You can go ahead and cover up the other eye now. Same thing, just we're going to swap sides, okay? So, with that other eye covered, can you tell me the first one? Good. I'm going to go right down to this line. One, two, three. What are those, please? Good. And down here, can you read this backwards, please? One, two, three, four. What are those? Beautiful. Very happy with that. Cutie. visual field real quick. So, this one again, we're going to start with both eyes open, and then we'll cover them one at a time for the next two parts, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of checking your visual fields and um, basically how far out the periphery of your vision goes, okay? So I'm going to take this pen here, and I'm going to start wiggling it in to your field of vision, I want you to look straight ahead, look at my nose as best you can, keep your eyes fixed right here on my nose, and then while looking at my nose, just let me know when you can see the pen come into your field of vision, okay? You can raise a hand, you can say, now, you can indicate in whatever way you'd like, just keep your eyes on me. And let me know when you can see the pen, okay? Good. Again. Beautiful. Good. One more time. Looking right here. Okay. Great. Okay. We're going to stick with the eyes, but we're actually moving on to different cranial nerve in just a moment. Can you go ahead and cover one eye? We're just going to do this. Yep, cover one up. Looking right here, we're going to do that. Good. Beautiful. Keep looking right here with that eye covered. Good. Right here. Beautiful. Eye. Okay, can we swap? Cover up the other eye. Good. Once again. Looking. Here, I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, let me know when you 
to the pen. Go ahead. Right here. Beautiful. Okay. So now we are gonna get. I'm gonna do all three in one. Okay. We're gonna test the oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens nerves. And these are the nerves that. control ocular and extraocular movements, uh, pupillary response. So for the very first one, I'm going to ask you to hold your head still, okay? Both eyes open. Look at my nose to start. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to look right here at the top of this pen, okay? Keeping your eyes here, I'm going to be moving it a little bit as best you can. Just try to keep your eyes fixed on this one point, okay? Okay, so following it. Good. Following it. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, once again, taking a look up at the temp there. Pen. Good. Now it's going to be moving away. And then it's going to come in close. Keep your gaze fixed on it. Good. Okay. Once again, looking at the top there. Keep your eyes fixed as it moves away. And back in. Good. Alright. Happy with the accommodation reflex. I'm going to ask you to pick uh, just any point over my shoulder and keep your eyes fixed on that. I need your eyes fixed on a point far away. I'm going to get quite close. I'm going to be kind of shining this light just obliquely into your eyes. Try to ignore the light as best you can and just keep your eyes back there. Okay, so I'm going to get in quite close. Pick a spot. You got your spot. Beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to get up in here and just Look real close. I first keep looking back here, please. Good. I'm gonna move over here. Pick a different spot if I'm blocking it. Just keep looking in the distance. Good. Oh. And you are doing an awesome job getting everything I need here. Okay, before spawn. winging flashlight test, which sounds probably more fun than it is. I'm just going to be asking you to pick a point again, kind of stare off in the distance. I'm going to be taking this light, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to be moving it back and forth between your eyes, just looking at the way your pupils respond. You don't really have to worry about doing anything other than letting your gaze relax on some point in the background, okay? You can go ahead and let your eyes relax. Fix your gaze to a point behind me. I'm just going to start over here. Blink if you need to from time to time, but do your best to keep your eyes open. Good. Okay. Just try to make sure that your pupils are contracting and dilating appropriately and we are looking really good okay we can relax for a moment just gonna take a few notes here all right and we are 
just cruising along here. Have you been keeping track how many cranial nerves do we have left to test? We have two. We've got the trigeminal nerve, which we'll be doing next, and then we'll be uh, wrapping up with your vestibular cochlear nerve, okay? Yeah, I know that's everyone's favorite, that's why I save it for last. Okay. So I'm going to begin by testing your light touch. I'm going to take this cotton swab right here and I'm going to very gently just kind of poke you with this soft fluffy tool. Feet up from points on your face. Again, I'm not trying to trick you or catch you up, so I'm going to let you know when I'm doing it, okay? I'm going to say touch and I'll touch you. Um, if you cannot feel it, or if you can just barely fear it, feel it, it's not going to be hard, but it should be a clear and noticeable feeling, okay? So as long as you feel it, just go ahead and say yes or Give me a thumbs up or raise your hand, just anything to indicate that you did feel it. Um, if you didn't, you know, either it's a no or a not really, let me know that too. And I'll keep that written down for your notes, okay? Okay. So, if you can just relax, I'm going to start with your forehead here. I'm just going to touch. Touch. feel all that? Okay. Your cheek. Touch. Touch. Okay. Your chin. Touch. Touch. Okay. Your jawline in a couple spots. Touch. Touch. Okay. Your nose. Touch. Got it? Great. This next one's going to be very similar. I am doing it with a sharp object, but I want to assure you I'm going to be very gentle with it. It is just pointed enough that it will activate the necessary nerve endings, okay? It's not going to cut you or harm you. It shouldn't really even feel uncomfortable, but you will be able to feel it. Again, I'm going to be saying touch, and you just indicate Yes or no, if you feel it, okay? Great. Okay, so starting with your forehead, I'm gonna touch. 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 Is that good? Great. Okay, I'm gonna get under your cheek. I'm gonna touch. Another side, I'm gonna touch. Okay. Your chin, I'm gonna touch. Okay. Your jawline on this side. On the side, jawline, I'm gonna touch. Touch. Okay. You know, touch. Are we all good? Great. Okay. More of the same. You have different types of nerves that register different types of sensations. So we're just running through those right now, okay? I have a tuning fork here. I'm not going to be using it to make any noise. Uh, it's just a nice kind of metal that stays nice and super cold. So I'm going to be touching that to those same spots. It should register as this kind of refreshing cold feeling. Okay. Same drill. I'm going to gently touch, 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 touch. And you'll just let me know yes or no if you feel it. Starting again with your forehead. Touch. Nice and cold, right? Okay. Gonna touch. Touch. Okay. Let's get your cheek on this side. Gonna touch. Touch. And on this side, your cheek. We're gonna touch. Touch. Your chin. Gonna touch. Good. Jawline. Other side, we're gonna touch. Touch. Good. Okay. Okay. The 
no special tools for this one. I'm just gonna be using my fingers to gently touch the sides of your face. I'll be doing equal pressure on both sides in a few spots. Please just let me know. Same. Say same or give me a thumbs up if it feels the same on both sides. But please do let me know if you're only feeling it on one side or if it's super noticeable that it's feeling more on one side and not on the other, okay? Great, okay. So I'm just gonna begin here in your forehead. Press. Does that feel even? Good. On your cheeks, I'm gonna press. Does that feel about the same on both sides? Good. Both sides of your chin here, I'm gonna press. Does that feel good? Same on both sides. And your jawline, I'm just gonna press. Good. How are we? Beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and check your muscles of mastication. Can you please, this is your jaw muscles, your muscles for chewing. I'm going to ask you, don't do it too hard so that it's uncomfortable, but if you could just gently clench your teeth together, kind of grip them. I'm going to place my fingers on either sides of your jaw, if that's all right. I'm just going to gently, go ahead, yeah, grip your teeth together, good. I'm just going to gently massage and palpate the chin and jaw. Keep those muscles they feel strong. Okay, feels really good. You can go ahead and relax. Okay. Can you go ahead and just open your mouth for me like you're giving a great big yawn? Good. Okay. Now open your mouth as wide as you can. Good. And then move your jaw to one side. Good, and then the other side. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna check your jaw jerk reflex real quick. I'm basically just gonna be, I'm just gonna be placing one finger on your chin right here, and then I'm gonna be tapping it with the other finger. It's gonna be just enough to initiate a small reflex. You can just relax, okay? I'm gonna place my finger right here on your chin. Just gonna... Got it? Okay, one more time. Okay, just one moment while I write a few more notes and we will move on to the final section, okay? on to our last section, the vestibular cochlear nerve, which controls your vestibular function and hearing vestibular function is balance, among other things. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions regarding your vestibular function. I'm going to list some symptoms. These are all things that most people experience occasionally, once in a while. Um, I just need to know if you experience any of them frequently enough that it's concerning for you, okay? And just use your best judgment for that. Um, I just need to know if you experience any of them so intensely that it's causing like a functional problem in your daily life or causing you anxiety, okay? Such so as the simple yes or no, okay? Um, so, have you recently had any concerns with feelings of dizziness. Okay. So, have you recently had any problems with feelings of uh, feeling off balance? Yes, no, and a one to five, it's a yes. Okay. How about blurred vision in both or one eye? Any problems with uh, falling down or stumbling? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, feeling as though you are floating? Is that something that you've been running into? Okay. Uh, 
feeling as though the world is spinning around you. And finally, have you recently had any problems with feelings of um, feeling just generally disoriented? Just a couple of hearing tests to wrap up. Um, I'm going to cover one ear. I'm going to place my hand right over your ear, and then I'll lean into the other ear, and I'm going to whisper some numbers. I just want you to repeat the numbers that you hear me whisper, and I'll do it on the other side, okay? All right, so I'm going to put my hand on this ear, your left ear to start, and I'll lean into your right ear. All right, my hand's going over your left ear. And now if you can please repeat the numbers that you hear me whisper. Great. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to put your, my hand over your ear and lean in. All right, you're going to feel my hand on your right ear. Repeat after me, please. second to last test, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Not yet, though. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub my fingers on either your left or your right side, and with your eyes closed, I just want you to let me know if you hear it on the left side, on the right side, or if you can hear it on both. Okay? All right. So go ahead and close your eyes, please. Great. Right. Which side? Okay. Which side? Good. Which side? Okay. Which side? side. Beautiful. Okay, now we are going to wrap up with just a quick otoscope check on each side. I'll step over here, take a look in your ear canal on this side, then we'll check on the other side, and then we'll be done. All right, so let's go ahead and So you're just going to feel the tip of the otoscope entering your ear canal right here.
Thank you so much. I am so pleased with all the results that we got. I'm going to review them all very carefully and I'll let you know if there's anything I want to follow up on or write you any referrals for. But overall, I'm very pleased with how this went. Thank you so much for coming in and you're such a joy to work with. I do look forward to seeing you at our next appointment. Hello, thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, it looks like we have you scheduled for just a thorough general physical checkup, is that correct? All right, well, I'm Dr. Green and I'm gonna be doing your checkup for you. We're gonna be going over a whole bunch of stuff today, um, checking your vitals, I'm gonna be doing some sensory tests, uh, checking your nose, your face, your lymphatic system. Uh, we're gonna do some eye and ear exams. I'll be checking your spinal alignment, a whole bunch of stuff. So I am gonna go ahead and grab my gloves. I'm gonna glove up. Uh, if you can wait there just a moment, I'll be right back and we will begin with this very thorough exam. We are going to go ahead and start just by taking your temperature. Pretty easy. Okay, I'm just placing a probe cover, clean probe cover onto the thermometer. Um, as you might expect, this physical exam is going to involve some multiple instances of me needing to gently touch or palpate different parts of your body. Is that all right? Okay. So first thing, I'm going to take this ear thermometer. I'm going to gently place it into your ear. You'll hear a little beep. I'll check your temperature. And with a lot of these things we're going to be doing today, I do like to do them on both sides. All right. Great. Stay right there. So you're going to feel the tip of the thermometer entering your ear right here. Okay, and... Okay. 
Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. Just gonna lean in here, and once again, you're gonna feel the thermometer entering your ear canal, right? Okay, we're off to a great start. I'm gonna take a couple notes real quick. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take your pulse. I like to do it on the neck. So you're going to feel me placing my fingers gently on the side of your neck, right here. I'm going to hold it there for a few moments, okay? So just placing it right there, okay? And Go ahead and check your blood pressure next. I'll be taking a blood pressure cuff. Got it right over here. I'll show you. I'm going to be taking this cuff here and I'm going to wrap it around your arm. I will inflate the cuff. Uh, it's going to feel quite snug on your arm. It shouldn't hurt, but it's going to feel really snug. Like I said, it'll stay that way for a few moments while I listen. And then I'm going to start letting the air out. I'll continue to listen. And then I'll write down the results, okay? Right. So again, it's going to be kind of like a very firm grip on your arm. Uh, it shouldn't hurt though, so if it feels uncomfortable, please let me know. I'll do it on this side, and then I'll go ahead and do it on the other one, okay? Alright. So... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take your arm. I'm not gonna take it off, don't worry. Just gonna lift it up a little bit here and wrap the cuff around your arm. Make sure I have a good fit. There we go, perfect. I'm going to grab my stethoscope here so I can listen in. Where did I put it? Here we go. Okay. Alright, in a moment you're going to feel me inflating the cuff. Alright, here we go. Deflate the cuff now. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna put the stethoscope down here and remove the cuff. Let's go ahead and make sure we're getting the same results on this side. Here we go, once again, wrapping the cuff around your arm. There we go, that looks good. Oh, sorry, just gotta reach behind you and grab my stethoscope again. Go ahead and inflate. Okay. All right. And 
let's go ahead and deflate. Beautiful, let me put this down. And remove the cuff. Beautiful. Okay, let me put this away here. Very happy with everything I'm seeing so far. Next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be examining your face. If you can go ahead and just stare straight ahead at me. You can relax your face, doesn't matter if you blink. Um, I am just going to be very carefully examining the structure of your face, different elements of your face, um, looking for general symmetry. No one's face is perfectly symmetrical. Uh, I am just looking for anything unusual that wouldn't be explained by, you know, any known or existing conditions. So, let's see. Okay. Can you do me a favor and tilt your chin up just a little bit? Perfect. Okay. Can you look to the side this way just a little bit? other side, just a little bit. Very good. And now could you look down for me? Okay. Beautiful. Very happy with what I'm seeing. Now, and with an I'm going to be giving you a series of instructions now, okay? Just some things to do with your face. Could you begin by raising your eyebrows up as high as you can? Just up. Try not to move the rest of your head. Just eyebrows up. Down. Good. Eyebrows up. Relax them. One more time. Eyebrows up, 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 and relax them. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to have to touch your eye or the area around your eye for this next. First on one side, then the other. Don't do it just yet. But what I'm going to have you do is gently close your eye. I'm going to place my fingers just below the bottom lid and on the top lid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to open your eye. And at that time, I'm going to ask you to squeeze your eyelid shut. I'm just kind of checking the muscles around your eye, okay? You don't lose points or, <laughs> or anything if I get it open. It's just to kind of check the strength, all right? So why don't you go ahead and close your eye. Very good. I'm going to place my fingers right here. And I'm going to press right there. Squeeze your eyes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna to try to open it and resist, resist, resist. Good. That was perfect. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so go ahead and close your right eye, please. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna place my fingers right here in your top and bottom lid. Now, go ahead and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't let me try to open it. Don't let me try. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. That was perfect. You did great. Okay. Could you go ahead and smile for me? Big smile. Okay, relax your mouth. Another big smile. Relax your mouth. Okay. One more time. Big smile. And relax your mouth. Perfect. A plus. Can you puff out your cheeks for me? Like, good. Okay, you can relax. 
one more time, puff them out, relax, and again, puff them out, good, okay, you can go ahead and relax your face, and one more, can you give me a great big yawn, just a big one, okay, now you can go ahead and relax, one more time, big yawn, Perfect. Alright. Okay. So next we're going to be doing some sensory tests. I have um, a almost sharp poking implement. I want to assure you that it's not sharp enough that it will actually hurt you. Um, it's just sharp enough. It's just sharp enough to uh, register as like a poke on your face, okay? So I'm going to be poking some different places on your face, okay? And when I do that, I'm going to let you know, no surprises, I'm going to let you know that I'm poking, and you just let me know if you feel it, okay? So I'll say poke, and as long as you feel that poke, even if it's just a little bit, you can say yes, or feel it, you can lift your hand, whatever you want to do to indicate that you felt it, okay? Um, after that, I'm going to do something very similar, but with a more dull pressure instrument. After that, I'm going to take a cotton swab. I'm going to be softly brushing it over your face. Same thing. And then we'll do a slightly different cotton swab test after that one, okay? So... Go ahead and get that first implement. Where did I put it? Here we go. Okay. So, see? It's just a comb with a little pick on it. Again, not sharp enough to hurt, I promise. Okay? And I will not be doing it this hard on your face. I'm just showing you that uh, even if I do... No, it doesn't hurt. So, you can have your eyes open or closed, it's up to you, okay? Not trying to trick you or anything, just want to make sure that you can feel it, okay? So, are you ready? Okay. Now again, I'm going to gently poke, poke, poke different parts of your face, and you just say, yes, I can feel it, raise a finger, whatever you want to do, alright? Here on your cheek, poke, 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 good, other cheek, we're gonna go ahead and poke, 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 okay, I'm gonna move it over to sort of your uh, left temple here, okay, so we're just gonna Same thing on the other side, your right temple. We're gonna poke, poke, poke. Okay, you're doing great. I'm gonna go across your forehead now. Poke, 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 poke. Okay, go down your nose. Side of your nose, poke. Other side of your nose, poke. Upper lip area here, we're just gonna poke, poke. Feel that? Good. Chin, poke, poke. Okay, draw a line on the left side, poke, poke. A draw a line on the other side. Alright, how was that? Okay, put this down. Now, I have 
have this right here. As you can see, it's also pointed, but it's much more dull on the end. Okay, I think I'm actually going to use this wider part right here at the base. And it's going to be very similar to the last test we just did. Okay, so I'm going to be poke, poke, poking. Uh, so we like gentle press. Okay, we'll say press this time just to mix it up. And you just indicate to me that you feel it, if you feel it, okay? So starting with your left cheek, I'm going to press, press, press. Other cheek, press, press, press. Beautiful. Okay. Left temple. Cross your forehead. Press, 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 press. Okay. Down your nose. Press, press, press. Left side of your nose. Press, right side. Press. Upper lip area. Press, press, press. Chest. Press. Jaw. Other side, press, press. Good? Great. Okay. Alright. So I have a couple of long stemmed uh, cotton swabs in here. Only need one to start. So this is going to be slightly different, but the same concept. I'm going to sweep it over an area of your face. And again, just indicate if you can feel it. So starting with your left cheek, I'm going to sweep. Left cheek, sweep. Sweep. Good. Left temple. Other side, sweep. Do a couple on your forehead, sweep, sweep. Down your nose, sweep. This side, sweep, sweep. Okay. Upper lip area here, I'm just gonna sweep. Chin, sweep. Left jawline, sweep. Other side. Weep. How's that? Okay, doing great. Now I have two. What we're going to do for this part is that I am going to be touching you on random areas of your face, either with one or with two. And I just want you to let me know if you feel one or if you feel two of them, okay? They may be quite close together, they may be farther apart. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, it can be quite difficult to feel too at the same time if they're close together. So don't worry about it. If that happens, it's pretty normal, okay? Just a little test. So I'm gonna get right up in here and one or two. Touch. Okay? And touch. One or two. Okay. Touch. One or two. One or two. Touch. One or two. Okay. Touch. One or two. Touch. One or two. Touch. One or two. Beautiful. Alright, you did great. Let me put that away there. Take a few notes.
So I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh, my pen light over here. And I'm going to take a quick look up your nostrils and then into your mouth, okay? Not sticking anything in there, I'm just going to shine a light up. So if you could just lift your chin up, I'm going to gently press the tip of your nose up so I can get a good look. Okay, I'm just going to take a look. Okay, good. Alright, happy with what I'm seeing. Could you go ahead and open your mouth just nice and big? Ah. Bigger. Uh, all right. Great. Thank you very much. Hold on to that. I'm gonna need it a little bit. Um. Let's see. stethoscope from over here. And one Very simple. Stick these in my ears here. I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently press it to your chest in a few spots. I'm going to be asking you to take some deep breaths. I'm going to be listening to your lungs into your heart. Uh, just take as deep a breath as is comfortable, okay? And then I'll move around back and do a few on your back as well, right? Okay. So, it's pretty warm. It shouldn't feel cold. I'm going to go ahead and press it to your chest right here. Okay. You can take a nice deep breath for me in. Out. Good. In. Out. Beautiful. Again. In. And out. Okay, one more spot here. In. And out. Beautiful. Let's go around the back. Okay, I'm just gonna reach over here. You're gonna feel me loosening up the back of your gown here. Okay. You're gonna feel it on your back right here. Take a deep breath, please. In. Hold. And out. Good. Gonna move it over here. Deep breath, please. In, hold, and out. Good. Over here. Another deep breath, please. Just at your own pace is fine. Okay. One more. Deep breath, please. Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put this away here. Take a few quick notes and then we'll move on to your visual acuity and eye exam. right here that I'm going to grab. Where's my pointer? I love using this thing. Okay. So I'm going to hold this up. Very specific distance. Let's get it right here. 
Okay, so I'm just going to ask you to focus right here on the chart. Uh, to begin with, look at it with both eyes open. I'm going to be pointing to some different letters. You just let me know what you think they are as best you can, even if you have to guess. Um, and then after that, we'll do it with one eye closed and with the other eye closed. But when we do the other eyes closed, you open. You get it, right? Okay. So, here we go. Can you please tell me What's this one? Good. Right here. Right here. Beautiful. This one? What's this one right here? Okay. And this one? Alright. Can you tell me what this one here is? How about this one? Very good. Okay. I'm going to ask you to take this right here and hold it first over your right eye. Okay, we'll do it again. And then I'll ask you to switch it to your left eye, okay? So, this eye, then this one. Got it? Right. Here you go. I'm going to hand that to you. Okay. Can you go ahead and hold it up over your right eye? Yep, just like that. Okay. And what's this? Good. Yeah. Alright. What's this one? This one? Okay. Skip down a little bit. Can you read this one here? How about this one? Okay. You can go ahead and switch sides. Beautiful. Thank you. What's this? And this? Tell me what this one right here is. Okay. How about this down here? And just for fun, can we read this one down here? Alright. I'm going to put this on there. Take a few notes. again, and I'm going to have to get quite close for this one, sorry to get like right up in your face, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this light, see, I'm going to shine it uh, into one eye and then into the other, okay? So, I may just gently touch your face right here, okay. while I look into your right eye, if you can just look straight ahead please. Beautiful. Okay. Other side. Just look straight ahead. Gorgeous. Okay. You can blink a few times if you need to. Okay. So we're going to do it again. I'm just going to be looking at the opposite eye that I'm shining the light into this time. So I'm going to shine into your right eye. Try and look straight ahead. Okay. Good. Blink if you need to. into your left eye, look me into your right. Good. Alright. going to be shining this in your eyes again. Uh, this time I'm just going to be trying to get a general look at the shape and health of your pupils and your eye in general. So if I can, I'm going to place my fingers right here under your right eye again. I'm going to shine the light in. Just try and look straight ahead. Good. Very good. Okay. Blink if you need to. Same thing on the other side. I'm just going to shine the light right in here. Try to look straight ahead. Good. Wonderful. Okay. What 
you kindly turn this over. look at this okay keep your eyes fixed on it I'm gonna move it away keep your eyes your gaze fixed on the pen light here okay I'm gonna bring it close to your face keep looking at it good one more time keep your eyes on it Bring it back in, keep looking at it. Good. Okay. Accommodation. Consistent. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my pointer. Oh no, what did I do with it? Here it is. So I'm using my pointer for this because I specifically want to make sure that you're looking right here, the very tip of the pointer, this dark spot here. Okay, so I'm just going to be checking basically your eye muscles. I'm going to be moving this around to different spots and I want you to follow the tip of it here, okay? I need to do it once for each side, so I'll be looking at your right eye to start and then your left eye, okay? Go ahead, take a look. Follow it with your gaze. Good. Okay, down. And down again. Okay. Other side, keep looking at it. Good. Okay. Bring it down. Keep looking at the tip of the pointer. Beautiful. You did great. You did great with all six cardinal positions. Okay. On both sides. We're moving on to the ear exam and hearing test portion of the exam. I'm going to take this otoscope right here. It lights up. I'm going to gently place the tip of the otoscope into your ear canal, okay? I'm going to take a nice look around, check in the ear canal itself, mostly checking the health of your tympanic membrane, and then I'll go around to the other side and check that side, okay? Um, it shouldn't be uncomfortable. Please let me know if it is, okay? Great. So, starting on this side, let me get right in there and... Alright, and you're gonna feel the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. Okay. We're looking good on this side. Get close so I can get a good look. 
I'll try not to breathe on you too hard. You're going to feel the tap of the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. Okay, good. I'm just going to take a nice close look. headphones for you. Okay. I have these headphones right here. In a moment, I'm going to place them over your ears. Um, it'll muffle your hearing a little bit, but you should be able to still hear me okay. For the first test, you'll be hearing a series of tones. Some will be higher in pitch, some will be lower in pitch, some will be louder or quieter. All I need you to do is simply indicate when you hear one, okay? Doesn't matter if you hear it on the left or on the right. Just if you hear a tone, you can say now or yes. You can raise a hand, raise a finger, just indicate that you've heard it, okay? Alright, so the place that Can you still hear me okay? Great. So, I'm gonna get it started in just a moment. Again, all you have to do is indicate in some way if you hear the tones. Alright? So, it should be starting right about now. Mm. Perfect. Great. Alright, so for the next part of the hearing exam, you're going to hear some spoken words in your ears, sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other. Um, for this one, I just need you to repeat out loud whatever word you hear. If you're not sure, just give me your best guess, okay? Alright, so again, we should be getting started right... Now, kite, puppy, cup, grape, 
club paper cucumber pluck alright beautiful now I can go ahead and take those headphones off of you here just have a couple more things to do. I'm going to be placing my fingertips right onto your neck area, your face a little bit, in the back of your head. I'm just checking your lymphatic health a little bit. I'm going to be gently pressing and palpating these areas just to check the lymph nodes, the sinus areas, make sure everything seems clear and like everything's the right size and moving the way that it's supposed to be, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna get right in here and I'm gonna start your sinus area under your eyes along the side of your nose here. I'm just gonna press, press, press. Good. And over the tops of your eyebrows here, I'm gonna press, press, press. Just a little more deeply here in this area. On this side. Okay, good. Other side. Beautiful. Okay. Reaching up around, gonna get those lymph nodes in the very base of your skull here. Finally, for the last part of your exam, um, let me grab a chart real quick so I can show you. Very excited for another opportunity to use my pointer here. Okay, so see this chart right here? I'm gonna hold it up. So this is your spine, okay? So as you can kind of see here, it's not actually different colors in real life. This is just showing the different sections your spine, okay? So at the very top here, we've got your cervical vertebrae, and that's in your neck area, okay? Next, going down, we have your thoracic vertebrae, and those are in your kind of upper trunk area. Finally down here, we have your lumbar vertebrae for your lower back. As you can see, there's some very specific, um, alignment and curvature here, okay? So that's what I'm going to be checking for. I just want to make sure that everything is aligned and where it's supposed to be. Again, most people's spines are not perfectly aligned. Most people have a little, just a little bit of a curve or these little differences. I'm just looking for anything that is unusual or that we wouldn't be expecting based on your known health history, okay? Alright, so I'm going to step behind you, I'm going to be opening up your gown, and I am just going to be using my fingers to press, 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 each one on the way down, okay? And just because I'm behind you and I want you to know what I'm going to be doing, if you look right here, you can see that each of the cervical vertebrae are numbered, you know, C1, C2, C3, down to C7. Thoracic vertebrae, we have T1 all the way down through T12. And then your lumbar vertebrae, L1 through L5. Okay? You ready? Great. Put this down. And you stay right there. I'm just going to sneak around back. in here and open up the back of your gown. Okay. 
down here. Okay. Beautiful. I have a great view of your back here. So I'm going to start right up here at the top, kind of just at the base of your skull. And in a moment, you're going to feel me press my fingers. I'm just going to be feeling for those knobby protrusions, the back of the spine here. I'm just going to firmly press and palpate each one, starting up here at uh, C1. And we'll work all the way down your lumbar, okay? So, starting here at the base of your skull, I'm going to press. Go down and press. gets us through your cervical vertebrae here in your neck. Gonna go down your thoracic vertebrae next and that'll take us most of the way down your back and then finally we'll finish up with your lumbar vertebrae down in your very lower back, okay? Okay, so starting right up here, your top thoracic vertebrae, T1, go breath, down and breath. five more to get here at your very lower back, okay? So you're gonna feel my thumbs just gently pressing. One, two, moving down, I'm gonna press. Perfect. Everything feels and looks exactly like I wanted it to. Okay, let me adjust your gown for you. All right. I am really, really happy with everything I examined today. That's it. Thank you so much for coming in today for your checkup. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any issues or concerns moving forward, uh, please feel free to come in, let me know, I'll take a look at it, okay? Great. Well, I look forward to seeing you at your next exam. Uh, a lot of people do them annually, but honestly, I believe that you can't have too many physical exams. You want to come in every day? You're welcome to, okay? So, I've got all your notes right here, so at future visits, we can make sure that your results are consistent throughout. But, until the next time, I hope you feel great, I hope you do well, and I look forward to seeing you again whenever you're ready. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Kelsey Cook, and I'll be conducting your hearing exam today. I'm going to start off by asking you a number of questions about your hearing health and history. 
uh, then I'll do a visual exam with my otoscope. Then we'll go ahead and move on to the actual exam itself with a series of tests and devices. All right? Great. All right. And I'm seeing here that in lieu of payment, you agreed to watch a YouTube advertisement. All right, great. Well, let's go ahead and get that rolling and then we'll move on to the exam. All right, let's go ahead and move on with those questions I have right here. To begin with, have you had any earaches or drainage from your ears within the last three months? Have you experienced dizziness, balance problems, or falls within the past three months? Mm -hmm. Now for these next few questions, just a simple yes or no. In the past three months, have you experienced any of the following? Nausea, ringing in your ears, past three months, any hearing loss, yes or no, any changes in vision, All right? Um, have you ever had a feeling of, and this is recently, not necessarily your whole life, let's say within the past couple of years or so, um, have you ever had a feeling of fullness or stuffiness in your ears? Okay. okay. And... Do you experience facial weakness, numbness, or tingling ever, even briefly? Okay. okay. Have you ever had medical or surgical treatment for your head, neck, ears, or throat? You don't have to get into too many details for these. I do have more extensive health history for you that I can pull up if need be. So again, yes or no questions. Do you have any difficulty hearing or understanding during any of the following activities? Yes or no. Watching TV. Dining in restaurants. Attending meetings. All right. Talking on the telephone. Mm -hmm. Watching movies at a movie theater. Okay. Watching ASMR YouTube videos. Yes or no? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, which ear do you most often hold your phone up to, your left ear or your right ear? All right. Me too. Okay, let me just... Okay. I'm going to go set this aside, and I'll be right back with my otoscope to begin that initial inspection, okay? Okay, so this next part, it's very simple. I'm just going to take this tool right here, my otoscope. I'm going to very gently place the tip of the otoscope first into one ear 
and then into the other ear. I'm going to be examining your ear canal, mostly looking at your tympanic membranes, your eardrums. Just mostly at this point looking for any signs of infection or irritation. Um, anything that might tell us that we might, we might want to put off the test to another time, okay? I'm not anticipating that, but we always do it just to be sure, okay? Great. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this ear, and then I'll move on over to this one. You ready? Great. Okay. So I'm just going to get right in here. You're going to feel the tip of the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. There we go. And I'm going to have to get up quite close here, sorry. I'll try not to breathe on you. Easy enough, right? Let's go ahead and get this ear. Again, you're going to feel the otoscope entering your ear canal very gently.
I'm gonna go ahead and remove the outer scope. Beautiful. All right, so I did notice that you could maybe benefit from a little bit of an ear cleaning. Um, nothing too serious though, nothing that should really impact the quality of the test results today, so we'll go ahead and move forward with that, okay? Great. Just a moment while I put this away. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tympanometer here. Uh, just a tool that measures the movement of your tympanic membrane in response to pressure, as well as the movement of some of the tiny internal mechanisms uh, that are behind the tympanic membrane. It's very simple and gentle. It shouldn't be uncomfortable. I'm going to place the nozzle right into your ear. It's going to create a little bit of a seal. It's going to very slightly and gently change the pressure in your ear canal. And you'll feel that. You'll feel a little bit of a change in pressure. You might hear a little bit of a low sound. Um, all it's doing is changing the pressure, creating a little bit of a sound, and measuring the movement of your tympanic membrane just to see if it's moving the way that we want it to, okay? Again, it shouldn't be uncomfortable at all. You're just going to feel a little bit of pressure and maybe hear a little bit of a low, strange sound, okay? All right, so again, let's start over here. Placing the nozzle in your ear here. Okay, and... digital graph on the tool here shows like a little spike that's exactly the right height that's almost exactly what we want it to look like it means that your tympanic membrane is in great shape we're going to go ahead and try it again on this side once again placing the nozzle right in your ear okay and Removing it. Okay, so same thing. This eardrum is working beautifully as far as I can tell. The results on both look great. Okay, so just a moment while I put this away. Okay, so for the next two parts of the exam, I'm going to be placing these headphones on your ears. For the first exam, you're going to hear a series of tones, uh, sometimes at a higher pitch, sometimes at a lower pitch. Some will be louder, some will be softer in volume. Sometimes you'll hear it in one ear, sometimes the other. It's randomized. All I need you to do is indicate when you hear a sound. You can either say now, or you can raise your hand or lift a finger. Whatever you want to do, just keep it consistent. So again, every time you hear a tone at any pitch, in this ear or in this ear, just give me some indication that you hear it, okay? Great. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place these on your head. How does that feel? and step right over here. So you can go ahead now and let me know anytime you hear a tone, okay?
We're going to do another one. I just took these off so you can hear the instructions more clearly. They're going to go right back on your ears in a moment. This next part is word recognition, okay? So I'll place these back on your ears and you're going to hear a series of different words at slightly different volumes, different words. And what I'd like you to do is just repeat the words that you hear. If you're not sure, just give your best guess, okay? Great. All right, here we go again. All right, so... Blue. Quiet. Lock. Pink. Moon. Warm. Button. Hope. Drip. Keep, paint, dream, quick, kind, top, dip, purple, these aside. All right, well, I'm looking over your results right here, and I have a comparison chart for the results from your last hearing exam. So I am, let's see, I am reviewing everything, and I'm not seeing any significant changes, barely any minor changes, from the results from your last hearing exam, and that's great. That's exactly what we want to see. So, I'm happy to say that you have passed your hearing exam with flying colors. There hasn't been any um, deterioration or any issues since your last exam. I am going to recommend that you get an ear cleaning within the next month or two, if you can. Uh, we actually do those here. So if you want to sign up on your way out, we can get you an appointment, and we can get that taken care of right here at the clinic, okay? Great. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in today. It was a pleasure to work with you, and I look forward to seeing you at your next ear exam or cleaning.